Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. <clears throat> this is a random read, which is timeless. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful or handsome, and you are kind. These readings will always resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone might be enlightened by them. Also to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone of this channel and I greatly appreciate you. So yeah, it's early in the morning. I can't even, this my, my mat, I can't even get it to lay straight because it's so cold that it's like, <laughs> it's okay. So I don't know. <laughs> I took the doggies for a walk and I came back and I was feeling some sort of way and I started listening to some music, whatever, whatnot, right? And I'm like, I got to do a reading. So yeah, shuffled and, and you know, the cards I chose were all mermaids and unicorns. So this is kind of a special reading because I don't normally get all of them out, but I was, uh, I felt to do it. So we're going to start out here with the mermaid tarot and find out some, uh, about what's something about what's going on. These are all pre shuffled, okay? Um, I don't even know how I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna start with with these, okay? Um, I've never like have I used them all together before? I may have. I don't know. If I have, it's been a while. All right. So tell me about what, what do you guys got to tell me? Because you know, uh, somebody's trying to say something. Two of Swords. Somebody's trying to make a decision over something. What else do we have here? This may go into a part two, you guys, because it's a lot of cards. <clears throat> Ace of Cups in the reverse. Somebody's got to make a choice, you know, because they're not happy. Somebody doesn't feel loved or they don't feel good in their situation. And I feel like, you know, because of these cards, I feel like they're struggling to make a choice. I mean, it's plain and clear. If you're not happy and you're not feeling loved where you are, if it was me, I would separate myself from the places where I don't feel loved and go find it, you know, find my own love, love myself, right? Yes. <clears throat> All right, so what else do we have here? Okay. Somebody wants love. The outcome is somebody wants love. It's plain and simple. Someone's not happy where they are. And yeah, look, six of cups in the reverse. Somebody wants love with somebody from the past who they're not getting along with. Plain and simple. Let me get three more cards. I guess I kind of know how I'm going to do this now. <clears throat> okay, it didn't come out. Let me get three more cards for the story. Let me get three more cards for the story. This is 12-12, by the way, the date today. I never usually say that, but it just so happens, okay? Three of Wands. Okay. Somebody's waiting, though, to make this choice. Nine of Wands. Because it's a struggle for them right now. It's a struggle for them to make the choice. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why it's a struggle because the situation they're in has no love in it. So I don't understand, you know, but somebody wants love with that two of cups. They want it. And they have shared love with someone before. Okay. This person is a king of cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. That's who we're talking about right now. This is a person who needs to make a choice. Somebody has got this in their chart somewhere. Seven of swords in the reverse. This person is, uh, is not... Um, this person is being uh, is not being deceptive. 
This person wants to heal. We have the star card now. Seven of swords in reverse, in case I didn't mention. Wow, this is a trippy reading, you guys. Okay? So this is the main background story of what's going on here. So far, anyways. Let me get a final card here. Okay, two came out. Or is it? It feels like, it looks like, I can see like they're stuck together. This is the one we'll take, which is the nine of pentacles. So somebody's, somebody's looking at a single lady or they're looking to be single. It's one or the other. Putting an end to something, right? Death card, also the card of Scorpio. Okay, I'm going to put this one back. Look, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor. Okay. Um, I feel, <clears throat> this is what I feel in regards to this Emperor card right here. This person, whoever we're talking about, can only be the Emperor in the upright if he makes the choice to go find love, to follow whoever this is that he shared love with, right? Waiting to do something. Maybe there's things around in their life, but this person is definitely wanting to fight for this, this King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, this person is not trying to be deceptive and wants to heal something with someone who's possibly single lady, something like that. Right now, in regards to this emperor, if this person does these things properly, kindly, nicely, you know, without fucking up and lying and, you know, whatever, without doing anything deceptive, this person will be the emperor. He will graduate to that, possibly, you know, either that or, you know, maybe the Knight of Swords. I mean, the King of Swords, because the King of Swords is one step before uh, the Emperor when it's in order of uh, having the qualities of all the kings, right? Because that's how you become an Emperor. You got to have all the qualities of all the kings to become the Emperor. In case anybody didn't know that, right? Because if you don't go through these life trials and all these things and heal yourself from all this whatever, you're going to be the maybe possibly just the emperor in reverse. Angry all the time, mad, defiant, you know, a liar, a cheater, you know, all the bad things in a person. Yeah, and that's not really, you know, that's not what we all strive for. Okay, so now I'm going to get the unicorn deck. So the rest now is cardamancy. It's not tarot, okay? Um, <clears throat> give me a card for the Two of Swords, please. Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups. Let me get three cards, all right? So I'm just going to overlay these is what's going to happen here. For these two decks, not for the other ones. The other ones has got something else going on. For the two of swords, we have the five of swords in reverse, okay? So this truth that somebody needs to, t this decision that somebody needs to say, and it's so hard for them to say, it's the truth. That's why it's difficult for somebody to make a decision because they're coming in to tell the truth. You know what? And, and if, you, if you lied to somebody and it escalated to some, who knows what, then yeah, it can be hard. Queen of wands. This person could be dealing with a queen of wands, upright, very passionate individual. This could be that single lady. It could be uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Eight, somebody, uh, you know, maybe has lost love for this person, something like that. Either there's no love with this person. I don't know. But in regards to possibly the outcome of this single lady, maybe the single lady has no love for this guy. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And this is why it's difficult for this person to make a decision because maybe this person lied before. You know what I'm saying? So this is where this story is difficult. Two of Cups. Why is this, this there now? Come on, let me see. Okay, Six of Swords, right? Somebody left this situation, this situation that involved 
real love and and they left because it was toxic somebody here was toxic so somebody had to leave yes 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 if anyone's wondering there was real love here okay um but somebody had to walk away because somebody was not showing it right somebody was lying about how they felt Ten of Swords in reverse, three of Wands. So, so, and also somebody is trying to heal from some sort of... So something happened to this person to make them realize this shit, right? And now they're waiting to heal whatever backstabbing energy they went through. That's why it's taking time. Nine of Wands, why is it there? Nine of Wands... That's why it's taking uh, this amount of time because this person is, you know, trying to heal from some shit that happened, right? We have the eight of wands in the reverse. So right now this person is, is fighting for stability, right? Because they don't, they don't have too much stability right now. So right now the main, you know, thing in this story for this person is they're not very stable. They don't have a lot of money. Uh, maybe they're they're trying to fight for their home or their stability right now because somebody, this is where the backstabbing energy, they may have been with somebody that burned them, that burned them for whatever. And it's this King of Cups, this poor guy. Somebody went through something, somebody took his everything, his home, maybe whatever, you know, I, I feel bad for this person. But, but it's whatever is going on here that's making this person realize who they really love and who they treated bad and who they lied to, you know, in the past. What is this? Four of cups, right? This is, this guy wants to make an offer to somebody who, you know, it was a toxic situation in the past, but that he expressed and she expressed love at one time. Problem is, is it doesn't look like she really has love for, for, you know, this person anymore. Seven of swords in reverse, seven of swords in reverse, seven of swords in reverse, seven of swords in reverse. And this person definitely not trying to bring the deception. Okay. Not anymore anyways, because this person learned something right after all these these swords come out of this person's back from being backstabbed, you know, because it takes a little time with that three of wands under there. Somebody's going to, you know, not be very deceptive anymore. Maybe that's how it started. Maybe this person was this. Oh, this person got a taste of his own medicine is what happened. And it, they got a taste from a queen of pentacles, right? Or they there was somebody who they thought was, you know, I don't know. We have a queen of pentacles here, actually. Upright. Who is not deceptive? Oh, somebody could have gotten into a relationship with someone, lied, and it just so... Because oh, you know what? The Queen of Pentacles, to be honest, because I don't see a King of Pentacles. This is a divorced woman. Now, unless a King of Pentacles comes out, we have somebody here who is a divorced woman. OK, she's queen of pentacles because uh, maybe, you know, that's what she got from the marriage or whatever. So maybe this person got backstabbed uh, and, and, you know, there was no deception, I think, in regards to this queen of pentacles. It was prob possibly just like somebody got into a relationship for not for not for love. That's for sure. Somebody may have found out. Oh, somebody found out and really sucked it to this guy. <laughs> that is really what happened. Uh, somebody got into a relationship for, you know, money or some reason or, or another. She found out and she really sucked it to him. So now she, they're divorced, possibly. This is a possibility. I, I don't know. Okay. Uh, what is this star card about? Now we got people that are trying to heal here. We got a queen of wands. Who doesn't want to have uh, stability or, or be fighting all the time? She's healing. We got a queen of pentacles here who is, you know, healing because, you know, she got burnt too. You know, she got burned because she somebody got in a relationship with her and she thought it was all and it was not. And this king of cups now, because this has happened or there's been some deception or whatever, it could even just be family. Things not going right. 
uh, people not allowing others to grow or whatever, you know, it could be that too, family situation, that somebody is, you know, these people need healing. All of them need healing. That is the, and they are all related. They are all related to the card of healing, which is a card of Aquarius, okay? We also have the seven of wands here, feeling defensive, you know, and, and you know what? It's hard to heal. Maybe you don't know how. Uh, and maybe you don't know what you need to heal from because, you know, we all get, we all get hurt in our lives, right? And even though we know how we got hurt or why, we don't know how to process it within our own minds to heal it, right? Because it's still going to be there. Like, it's like we have to become to terms with whatever this thought is, whatever this thing is, we have to come to terms with it and accept it and actually turn it around and realize that it was a blessing to go through this because these are lessons, lessons that are supposed to be learned. Yes, they're harsh lessons and they freaking hurt. Yes, but you know what? That's why we need to stop we need to realize, know what's going on, and take it as a blessing because we have learned something. Everyone here has learned something. That's why everyone here is connected to healing. Everybody here I can see is healing, going through some healing or has gone through some healing, right? Let's get this um, Nine of Pentacles here. Nice. So it also could be, right, because, you know, it could be that this Queen of Pentacles could possibly feel like, uh, and, and, you know, I'm not trying to pick on anyone, okay? She might not feel like she needs to heal. Like, maybe she, she feels like sh she's f feeling defensive, like, really. And so is this King of Cups. You know what? This might be some sort of divorce situation because they're both in defense mode, not directly connected to the Queen of Wands, right? The separation between this and the Queen of Wands is stability, right? Um, but she's, because the reading goes this way, I don't feel like she's got a problem with stability. I do see that she fights for what she wants. Now, when it comes to these other people, somebody lacks stability and somebody is going to fight what they're fighting. Oh yeah, they're fighting for maybe possible, you know, divorce stuff. You know, whatever you fight for in divorce. I don't know. My divorce was very plain, simple, smooth. I did no fighting. I was, there was no, nothing going on with that. So I don't know when it comes to this, I don't know like how, how, how far people can go to just really hurt another person. And let's hope that there's no children involved. Cause that's fucked up is, if it is. All right. We got the nine. I, I don't see it right now though. I don't see it. Okay. So we got the nine of pentacles here. Tell us about that card. Tell us about this nine of pentacles. This is kind of a big one. This is this is a really elaborate story right here. You know, nine of pentacles. Look, holy shit. I can't believe this. It is, it is two of swords. We start with the two of swords and we end with the two of swords. Do you see that shit? So also whoever this nine of pentacles person is, which you know, somebody, this person needs to make a decision. Okay. It could be that this queen of pentacles. It could be that this queen of pentacles is going to be single, single and abundant, whatever, after the divorce and all that stuff. But you know what? So is the king of cups. So, you know what? It might also be. I also feel that the King of Cups may, may come out a little ahead. I don't know. Or she might. I don't. No, it's her. She might come out a little ahead because of her defense in, in court. Like this person didn't really, but she did. She fought for something, but they both end up single. And, and able to take care of themselves. This is the choice that was made since the beginning that they wanted to be single and abundant, right? Um, yeah, Queen of Wands, She's. we already know that she's single because there's no King of Wands here. So now everybody here in the end is single. 
But the thoughts behind that, somebody is thinking about, this King of Cups is thinking about a toxic situation they were in with a Queen of Wands where somebody didn't give love, but there was love there and somebody left the toxic situation to go to something, you know, less toxic because somebody got hurt. You know what I'm saying? Look what's at the bottom of the deck. Damn, the Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. So if all of this goes properly and people are cordial with each other and not fighty, arguey, not trepping out, everybody realizes their place. We got the Nine of Cups here, wish fulfillment, and that's good. Okay. Now we got the I Love Mermaids deck, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to overlay these here. You know, I will separate them later. Um, but here is the final row, which is somebody leaving a toxic situation to make an offer to someone. They're trying to make a choice on whether or not to do that. All right. This is the I Love Mermaids deck and I love a unicorn decks combined. So we're going to find out this is cardamancy continued. What's going on uh, extending this rating? What's the extension of this rating? You get three cards. We're going to do a six card triangle, okay? Let me get three cards. Let me get three cards. This is the first one. It's, didn't get to see it, so. <clears throat> Second and third. Let me bring this down a little bit. Second and third. We get three more cards. Next two cards. Ooh, a card flipped over in my hand, but I can't mess with it. You know, I got to leave it like that. And then we got the Six of Pentacles next. So we have a card we don't know, Ace of Swords, Five of Pentacles. So something about trust here because the card says that. We got two more cards. One, two. All right. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords, right? Now we saw the Ten of Swords earlier. We don't know if this one is upright or reversed. Okay, Ten of Swords is it's not a very good energy to have. Somebody's feeling like that right now. Someone's feeling not so good. Someone's feeling like they got some backstabbing energy or they're healing from it or have healed from it. Remember, we don't know if this upright or reverse. Now, we have the, the Isle of Mermaids card for look. Somebody wants to take a, a, a leap of faith. They could be wishing to do it. They could be praying. They could be going out at night and praying to the moon and the stars to make a wish upon a starfish. Somebody could be trying to manifest this. Somebody could be trying to take a leap of faith, right? And they want to do it and they want to tell the truth about it to someone, right? Ace of Swords, trust me, I'm a mermaid, right? So like I said, there's something to do with trust. Somebody wants to take a leap of faith. They want someone to trust them. We have the Five of Pentacles, though. This is a loss, right? So somebody may want to ask for this trust because they really don't have anything. They've suffered a loss, right? So maybe someone's like, oh, please believe me. It will be better, blah, 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 blah. Somebody could be begging and pleading here, okay? I don't know. I don't know. We have the Six of Pentacles here. And, and you know, this is what somebody's worried about. Somebody's worried about, is this going to be equal give and take? And how can it be if somebody's already up front saying, you know, I don't have anything, but trust me. I want to do this. But the other person may be worried about whether or not this is true, equal give and take. You know, what are they going to be able to contribute? You know what I'm saying? Something like that. That's what someone's worried about, right? Now, if this is, uh, if it, if this is an obstacle, that's what it is. If it's advice, the advice is you must put in equally. Equal give and take must be there between two. Plain and simple, right? Now we have the five of swords here and the outcome here is somebody will be, it's a lie. That's fucked up. You know, it's a lie. So somebody may come in and say, Oh, believe me, trust me, this, that, but it's a lie. It's not, it's not the truth. You know, now this could be 
you know, now it's, yes, it's continue of the story. You know, whoever is coming in to someone and they're trying to, you know, they're, they're telling the truth here, though, that they did suffer a loss, right? This is the truth. But okay, I get it. And they will, you know, there was somebody here definitely, but there's, there's still something that somebody's not telling the truth about. And it's the person who's saying, trust me. Now, this person may be being honest about, you know, I want to do this, uh, whatever, whatever, trust me, I will be there. I just, I don't have a lot. Uh, I will try to contribute as much as I can. Right. But they're still not saying something. They're not letting go. Somebody is being a, Oh, somebody may have, somebody may have money because the four of pentacles is about being a miser. So somebody who comes in will say, I guess I suffered a loss. Yes. They suffered a loss. Okay. They did. And somebody here is, is worried about whether or not they're going to give in equally or give and take, right? I need to pull card. I'm, I want to pull three more cards, you guys. I want to pull three more cards. Let me get three more cards. Let me get one, two, three. Three more cards. Let me get three more cards for this reading. Okay, one, two, I need one more. Whoa. This is a fat deck because it's got two decks combined. Like a, It's like the things cards have this many cards too. Things cards have, okay, we got two final cards. What do we have? Look. The king, the, the ten of swords again, and this is the unicorn saying it now. Before it was the mermaids, now it's the unicorn. I think it, it was the mermaids, but yeah, you see that shit? And then what's this one? Four of pentacles again. Somebody's, somebody's got a secret. Somebody's still holding a secret, though. This is the problem. Okay, so... Whoever is coming in to say, oh, I want to take a leap of faith. I want to do this. You know, trust me, blah, 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 blah. They don't have no, they're not balanced. Oh, I just thought about something. Somebody could be hiding an addiction. That's for someone. Okay. Then we have the queen of swords in reverse. So this person could be in that energy also. Right? Where they're not very honest. Queen of Sword in Reverse is, is a liar. She's a liar, whoever this is. Okay? So, and that's male or female energy. It, it could be, it could be that King of Cups, you know? And his, his energy when it comes to swords. Oh, it is! Because look, remember I told you before that the King of Cups will become this emperor. Look, this emperor if if you know they go through all the trials of the kings right they got to go through the trials of the queens too mind you okay but someone here if the queen of swords is in reverse she's a liar so this could be this king of cups saying trust me blah, blah, blah. the lying lying There is, has been a loss of uh, abundance or some sort of monetary or even balance within one's mind. Somebody could have lost their mind, man. Somebody could have lost their mind here because somebody fucked them over and it really fucked them up. You know, they had them fucked up, right? Three of swords in the reverse is telling me, look, someone's not, good, not heartbroken anymore. Okay, now I get it. Somebody here is saying... Somebody here is saying, okay, I went through this and the other, I did this, I did, and someone hurt me. Mm -hmm. That's what they're saying, that somebody hurt them and, you know, they suffered a loss and, you know, sad story and they lied to them and, and they stole from them and what else? And, and yeah, they, they, they straight up got let go. You see, four of pentacles in the reverse. They straight up got let go, right? 
But now the other person doesn't believe that this person doesn't still have feelings for them. That's what it is. Um, and they don't want to get backstabbed because that could have been the situation beforehand that this person got backstabbed because somebody ran off somewhere else. Now that this other person got backstabbed, they're running back to where they believe, oh, I made a mistake. But this person doesn't trust this person because of the shit they did before. So somebody here, basically, they got to prove themselves. They got, you know, and I don't even know if, if, if this person will take them back because I feel like it's that queen of wands previously we saw who's not, a, who's not going to fight for this. She doesn't have, she has lost the love for this basically, right? She's over. Her. So I don't know if this person, yeah, she has this queen of wands, she, whoever that is, she has no love in this situation. That's why, you know, I don't think she trusts it. Mm -mm. She, she, I think she can see the lies. And, you know, even though this person may have gotten let go, I think they're going to, they possibly will get let go for a second time because somebody's after wish fulfillment, plain and simple. If somebody backstabs someone, they're after their wish fulfillment with the real emperor, whoever this is. And the real emperor has all the qualities of all the kings. They've been through some shit. They realize, they learn, they heal, they teach others. They're a good person all around. You know what I'm saying? And, and this doesn't sound like a good person all around. It really doesn't. It sounds like someone who's still lying, you know, who's still not expressing their emotions, still has feelings for someone else, trying to come in to someone else too, though. This is a person that needs some really gnarly healing because they don't know what they want, so indecisive, you know what I'm saying? Man. All right, you guys, that's what I have for you. Um... If it resonated, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Also, you guys, dang, keep it true love energy if you can. Happy, friendly, loving types. We have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful. I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll talk to you next time.